Hey guys and welcome back to the last video of this mini series regarding the EX4100. I've hoped that you enjoyed all the videos that I've made and shared with you. Now if you have missed any of those just click right over here on the new YouTube cards and you will have all the other videos available to you so you can check everything. Now on this particular video I'm going to share with you if I think that this device is worth it or not and the things that I did like the most and the things that I did like the less as I always do. Now starting if it's worth it or not in my opinion of course it is totally worth it. Now a great experience that I've had with this particular Nash so in my opinion it's a great investment that you can make. I would like to point out something here which is you just have to study if you need this amount of uh, scalability or if you need something smaller. Depending on your needs you will have to study that. So I've got three examples here a single bay Nash, a dual bay Nash and a quad bay Nash. So depending on your needs uh, you will have an array of choices and I'm going to give you this example here which is not available on the market anymore. This is the MyBook Live, six, seven years on my hands, still working great, um, uh, about 30 megabytes of read and write and 60, 70 megabytes of read and write and now 100, 110 of read and write. But getting back to the point, if you need a single bay as you have the choice of the my book, uh, sorry, my cloud personal. So that's a single bay Nash for your home usage, uh, pictures and whatnot, whatever you use at home, that's a great uh, device. And then you have a dual bay Nash, the newest one, which is the EX2100, which I didn't have the chance yet to review it on the channel. I will do if I have that chance. Um, and you still have the EX2, which is only one year old uh, and is working great. If you ask me, Robert, would you push us it again? Yes, totally would. I'm totally happy with that. But there's a new model, so you might consider that one. And then you have the EX4100 and also available the EX4 which was released last year as well. So having this in mind you will need to think if your business or if your home needs this uh, scalability. One, two uh, base or four base but it's totally worth it. Now let's get to the point where I'm going to share with you the things that I did like the most and the things that I did like the less and starting with the things that I did like the most. This is a very solid device. The old material, as you saw in the videos, all metallic. There's no plastics over here except the bezels on the front and whatnot, but all the device is uh, very solid and heavy, by the way. <laughs> With four uh, drives inside, it's a bit on the heavy side, but that is great. Another great thing is the power button that we find right over here. And you might wonder, hey Robert, a power button, do you like a power button? I do. Now on all the devices, once I shut them down, if I wanted to turn them again on, I would have to unplug the jack on the back and then plug it in. And that's not a big deal, but if we have a button on the front, all we have to do is just press that button and the machine will work. So a great thumbs here. I do really love that um, function. Another is the LCD with uh, some information. You can say, hey, that information is redundant because you can get that information on the browser, but Although it is true, I do love to see that extra information on the LCD, which you can see at any moment, just pressing it, uh, even if you don't have a, compu a computer plugged in. So that's another great plus. Uh, connectivity. So we have USB 3.0 at the back, USB 3.0 at the front. So a total of three connections. We have USB 3.0. We also have two gigabytes Ethernet connections and two power connections. So as connecti connectivity sorry, goes, this has plenty. Uh, also the sleep function and this has to be one of my favorites. Once this drive sleeps, as I mentioned on the previous video, it is totally silent. It's like having it off or like this piece of wood. It doesn't make any sound at all. So this is one of the great things that I do love on these machines, the sleep function. And lastly, a silent operation. So I shared on the previous video regarding the silent um, operation and the speed test. The fan will not produce any noise. It spins about 600 RPM 
it's a 112, uh, 120 mil fan so it will be very quiet you will feel the hair but you will not hear it so it's a very quiet operation the only thing that we will hear and I mentioned this already it's the hard drive but there's no miracles if you have a mechanical hard drive inside any device you will hear it once it spins so a great balance here on construction and which in my opinion makes this device great now let me share with you two things that I think it could be improved now one of the other things is it's not possible to remove the shared folders that are created by any of these devices and I have not seen so far one NAS that could do that and although it's something very picky I would love to see this feature uh, on the future to be able to have only the shares that I want so remove that public folder I could remove the smartware folder and all the other folders that the system creates to me I would love to remove them all but that's one of the things the other and the last one is the USB backups which is one thing that I use um, a lot every week do not have the schedule function and that is something that I also would love to see and just schedule the machine to back up to my USB drive that I have connected in this case on my EX2 and that is it guys so at least one two three four five six seven things that I did love and two things that I think it could be improved uh, but as you can see I have to mention that it's totally worth it and the experience that I have uh, I will have to return to WD and I would like to thank here WD for, for lending me to test it out uh, but this is a great experience that I had so far I hope that you enjoyed all this video series about this Nash I know that some of you are crazy about Nash devices as I am and hopefully my videos were um, against your expectations and once again my name is Roberto George and I'll see you on the next videos